Hi everyone, this is Donna. Today I want to share with you a project that I was making over the Christmas holiday. We tend to unwind while we do crafts, don't we? So in the hustle and bustle of the holidays, I started making this um, little house. I have five out of four had gifted it to me and it was a chicken wire house from Michael's and so over this holiday little by little when I had a chance I'd come over and do a little bit more of it and it's complete and I want to share it with you what you're seeing right now is the paper that's been whitewashed with um, with some gesso to, to tone it down a little bit but I'm going to focus in so that we can see a little more of all the details it's quite large so it's a little hard for me to focus the whole thing I'll be moving it around as we look through it um, you're seeing a quick peek of the front uh, I have this pretty pearl hanging down from the sides and I have some here too they're meant to stay up on the top but they look whimsical so sometimes I push it to the side up on the top here there's a white flower here one here and one over here and see simple white flowers not much detail to them I, along the border I use this pretty pearl trim and up to this side I have lace running up along the edge up here and over here I have the Hobby Lobby heart lace running through here and I'm sorry I moved the camera somewhat but it's the only way to actually be able to get it all in because there's a lot going on here. I, I never had a, a little dollhouse like some little girls have. Um, so I made my own now that I'm older to have one. Um, and what I mean is I had a big one like to go outside in the backyard and play in one. But I mean a little one to play in like they have now all the different ones that they have for the girls to play in their room. Uh, when I was little, well, I don't know if there was any, but I didn't have one. So, uh, I'm enjoying this one. It's made to order, precisely the way I like it. All over the edges here, and this heart design here. For this house, I put another lace on the inside. It's this pink, um, and it's it's like the tool fabric. It's pink, and it's back here, so you just see a hint of it coming out to the sides. So if you're wondering what's that in the background, that's what it is. You see the little chandelier that moves around in there? It's right through the window. I made curtains from my house and it's made out of the same tool. Uh, uh, down on the bottom, when we go to the bottom floor, you'll see the same curtains. So there's curtains here and I put little, little roses right there. Over here I put three pieces of lace and there's bling on the three of them. Little flowers in the window because it just happened to have that little window. And I put uh, lace and pearls around the window frame. We're peeking in. And when we peek in, we see a little kitty cat over there. He's right there. And there's a little dresser to the back there. A shopping bag full of goodies. Uh, a little teddy bear. Do you see her? With her blue little dress. When we see later on, we'll see it in more detail. And over here we have a, a bed with, with a little rug. And of course the floor is a tan color floor. Uh, the little girl sitting on her, laying on her bed just looking out the window. Uh, the bedspread I made it also. Uh, on the front of the bed I put little rosettes. Uh, some trim I put on the front. And uh, I'm not sure if you could see the back. Let me see if we could peek in through here. If we peek in well, we'll see the back. I made a roll pillow in the back, which would be the headboard. And there is a crown right there. Are you able to see the crown right there? Yes. And she's sitting on, she's laying on her bed. Okay, so we're peeking in through the front here. And um, a lot of details that are going on in here. Over here on her dresser, if you look well, she has a pocketbook. She has a couple of bottles of perfume that I made. It, it's just a little hard with the trimming. There you go. You can see the, the bottles of perfume. You can see the shopping bag. I put an applique on the shopping bag. So that's what you're seeing there. The design on the front of the bag. Some, some paper coming out of the bag also. 
really cute. And let's go down to the first floor. To divide the floors, I put this pretty lace uh, with, uh, with pearls. And this was kind of girls, my gift to myself. <laughs> That's what I would say, my gift to myself. So uh, I put this pretty lace. Uh, I have five hearts here and on each one there's a piece of bling. I put some more pearls hanging down from here, from the second floor down to the first floor. The pearls are hanging down, the windows are done up, the shades, uh, the, sh the window curtains are up too, but I didn't fill it till the floor because I want to be able to see inside. Uh, you see the chicken wire, how pretty it is. So I just utilized it and, and shabby chic it. That's what I did to it. Little roses on the top of the arches, on both arches. On this side also, there's five hearts, whippling, and I put pearls hanging down. Let's look a little closer to that bottom floor. Bottom floor, there is a tea party. And on the outside of the house, before we go inside, on the outside of the house, I put two trims, this beautiful white trim. You can only see the tips of the trim, but if I lift up the skirt, you'll see the rest of it. It's a really pretty trim. And then I put the curtains that I used as curtains, I put them down here, the trim. With these pretty flowers, uh, more design on the outside of each of the flowers, and there's five of them coming across the front of the house. The pearls are hanging down the, from, the fir from the second floor, like I told you. And that's going on all the way around the sides. The same the other side. To have a nice finished look. And when you look at it on the side, you see this pretty heart shape. Under the heart shape, you'll see the, the pink trim again. So that you see it peeking out when you look at it. And from the side view, you can see the tea party on the first floor. There's a little girl in the seat over there. And she's just looking at her. She has uh, over here, there's a little teddy bear on this chair. And on this other chair, it's, uh, let me see, it's a little mouse. But they're both dressed. So over here, there's a little mouse on this chair. Yeah, with the pink, hot pink dress. And the other one has a yellow dress with flowers and she has a puppy on on her lap if you can notice right there through the window yeah the, the shape kind of hides her i painted the furniture all white and this bottom floor is really uh dedicated to what this was all about a tea party there is a doily on the floor that serves as a rug there's a little kitty cat under the table and if you notice he's white and he is asleep under there and then you have this gorgeous table full of goodies. Can you see all those goodies in there? Let me see if I could get close in so that you can see all that's going on. This is the chandelier you see in here. She has a little chandelier, and um, but it's high up. It's just now at that uh, at the way I have it. You're seeing it more than you're seeing the little girl. But when I tilt it, I'm tilting it now so that you can see it better. When I tilt it, you can see in and you see the table. And this, um, let's look on this side. There's a little pastry in her plate. She has her coffee cup or her tea cup. In this case, it's a tea cup. And she has a soda on the side. She has a utensil right there. The tablecloth that she has running on her little table is the same one that's running across the front of the house it's on just the pink one that i have here there's a cake on the table there is a teapot right here more uh, tea um the milk and creamer uh, a plate of cookies back here for the little girl who's sitting here playing with her dolls and on the other side uh, is the same the little cupcake and the saucer the soda and the spoon that's right there. So you're peeking in as I am at the tea party. And over here on the corner, I have one of those little jars that I decorated. And it's like a, um, a floral 
that she has here in the corner with little roses coming out of it. So this is what you see from the front when you look at it. I think it's simply adorable. Love it, love it, love it. So happy, excited with it. Loved it. Love how it looks. This is the first floor that you're looking at now. Now we're going to look through the back because through the back it's not covered up with anything. And you can really glance in and see really nicely what's going on at the table. This is a chandelier and I made it with a couple of pearls and uh, some, some pretty chiffon that I had. And I hung it from the ceiling. And you see the back of the little girl because we're looking from the back now. But you can also so see the table setting, how clear you can see it now, right? And she's sitting there with her two stuffed animals, her little rug on the floor. Look at the kitty cat over there. You see him? He's sleeping under there. I, I used this pretty paper. And what I did was I washed it down with some gesso so that it would be really light. But it has... Uh, a floor, <laughs> or well a colored floor I mean, and then the rug stands out a little further. On this side you can see also how pretty the table looks with her little tablecloth, the little girl sitting. The little girl comes from Hobby Lobby, it's part of that family set that you could get where the miniatures are. The little cake and cookies come from the miniature section over there in Hobby Lobby. I'm saying that just in case anybody's interested in any of those things that you see on the table. The the little tea party set is actually a charm set that Michael sells uh, for if you want to make charms. But I used it for this instead. I just cut off the top, which was the little attachments for the charms. So that's what's going on on the first floor. Now let's look a little closer at the second floor. Now you're able to see what you couldn't see from the front because of so much things that were going on. This is her little bed and I got the little bed from the dollar store and I painted it up with some gesso and then I decided to dress the bed and uh, I dressed it in a cream linen. I made her a roll pillow and I jazzed it up with these little uh, flowers. I put a crown on the top of her uh, bed. bed. I'm hoping you can see it better there. I put a crown up here. I put some bling in behind it. So when you look from the back, you can see it like that. I put two flowers and I put more bling inside of it. She does have a rug also. As you notice, there is a rug in there. And it's actually a doily, but since everything's miniature, she has some slippers. And I got those in Hobby Lobby in the Christmas section. They had little slippers. And um, I just made them... Uh, fit perfectly for this. Um, she has a chandelier on this floor also. And there it is. Very pretty. And you can see the flowers better in the window from here. And that's what you see when you look out from here. See? Uh, there's a little teddy bear and she's all dressed up. She has bling on her dress. She has a cute little hat which is actually a flower um, applique with a little bling in her head. The furniture also has some bling on it. A lot of bling up here. Just like a girl's dream room, right? Her dresser, I painted it white. I gessoed it and I made the little knobs in pink. The shopping bag, I dressed it up, it's over there. And her kitty cat, I know it's a little hard to see the kitty cat. Maybe right there, you can see it better. There's her kitty cat, he's in his bed. You see it right there? He's in the bed. On top of the dresser, coming back to here. Top of the dresser, there's some jars, some perfumes. A little miniature pocketbook is over here. Um, and they were just beads, pretty much. Beads that I just... Uh, put on top of each other in size order to make it work. The floor is the same as on the first floor. I whitewashed it to to make it a little less uh, noticeable so it wouldn't stand out so much. And so that's how my second floor looks. And I think it looks gorgeous. I didn't have to do nothing to her dress. I left it. It's a light shade of peach with little uh, polka dots on it 
and I liked it so much I just left it like that so when you step back and look at the house it has these two attachments this was from Michaels thank you so much Faba for for this wonderful gift I had so much fun this holiday and here you see the trim that I put up here and this beautiful paper and more trim over here and these pearls here they just sit up here really nice really shabby chic sorry for the shaking girls I had to actually move it manually so that you can see so it looks so much fun it looks like it's so much fun that it would be fun to join in wouldn't it let me turn it around so you can see the front one more time I'm gonna see if I could pull it back a little bit and I'm so sorry for the shaking but I, I'm just trying to let you see the whole house in one shot if it's possible it is and actually it's so big but more or less now you got a overview of the whole thing let me know what you think I had so much fun making it um, and I love working with miniatures and so forth so this was just something so much fun for me relaxing and and I'm gonna put it up somewhere in my room to enjoy it for years to come thanks for watching hope everything's going well for you take care bye